Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel, long time no see. Uh, today I'm here with the Early Rider Belter 20. This is a bike I just got used for my daughter for $130. I think these new are around like 600 or something. So I think we got a great deal. It's definitely been well used. So I'm going to try to fix it up, modify it, and get it into better condition. Now she's not even five yet, so this is a little bit too big. She has rode it, she can ride it, but she still prefers her Voom 3 just because it's a little bit smaller. Like for instance, her uh, toes only touch the ground when she's sitting on the saddle. And uh, you know, at that age, they would rather have their feet more firmly planted, I think. So anyway, we're gonna get it fixed up in the, over the next month or two, and by the time she fits it, it'll be ready for her. Might even paint the whole frame purple because she really loves her Voom, which is in purple. And uh, I think she'd be really happy about having this one match. Anyway, this frame is not, the paint is a bit scratched up here and there, so it wouldn't hurt to give it a new paint job. But for today, the only two things I wanna do today is replace the saddle. I ordered a brand new one. This one's obviously in a pretty rough condition. Yeah, so as you can see, this saddle's pretty rough. It's uh, kind of peeling off everywhere. So I ordered a brand new one. It uh, was about $34 ship, which is a bit pricey, I guess, but um, it's nice to have the original. The other thing I'm gonna try to do today is update the grips. As you can see, they're you know, pretty worn out, pretty typically worn out for a kid's bike, or for any bike for that matter, that's been used a lot. And uh, the other thing I'd like to do, I don't think I'll have time today, is fix this uh, cable and cable housing. As you can see, it's basically broke, so we need to take care of that. But the bike itself is really cool. Um, as you can see, it's a mountain bike. It has 20-inch uh, wheels, pretty nice and fat uh, Maxxis tires. I don't know what they are, probably 2.1 inch. It's a belt drive, which I think is really interesting. I've never dealt with a belt drive system before. But what I think is really interesting, and the reason I kind of like this over going with the Voom 4, she has a Voom 3 right now, but what I liked about this over the Voom 4 is this has a three-speed internally, hub, internally hubbed uh, gear system versus the seven or eight speed that the Voom has. So I actually think this will be better for her at five years old than having to deal with seven gears and a derailleur. This is, should, should really make it simple and more enjoyable, I hope. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started fixing or repairing or <laughs> updating these parts. All right, the saddle should be pretty easy to do. I mean, um, it's just a standard standard rails, I believe. So I'll go ahead and take the seat post out. Looks like, what, a six millimeter? Let's go for our Park Tool AWS-1 and see if it fits. Yes, it does. As you can see, I'm not in my normal workshop now. It's because I don't have a workshop now. Um, that was a rented house and uh, the owner wanted to sell. So I am back to our old Titusville house, which means I have no garage, no workshop. And uh, that's the reason I haven't really done many videos lately. But really eager to get this bike in a little better condition and I found myself with a little bit of time. So let's see what we can do. As you can see the old saddle, you know, didn't, I mean, it functioned fine. There was nothing functionally wrong with it, but it just looked pretty ugly. So. Spent the $34 shipped, got a brand new one. Looks much better. Let's go ahead and mount it. There, finally. It always seems like when you're in a bit of a hurry, things uh, are unusually difficult. All right, I think we finally got it. All right, I'd say that's done. Let's move on to the grips. Now this bike does have a grip shift, so on the one, the grip is actually quite a bit shorter than on the other. But being that the grips that I purchased are a lot bigger than regular adult grips, adult size grips or whatever you wanna say, um, we have quite a bit of flexibility if we want to cut them down to whatever size we want. Obviously that would be too big. Uh, maybe we can make them a little bit larger though. Anyway, let's start off by taking off the old ones. These are original early rider. You can see it printed right there. But oh, That came off super easy. I feel like I want to make the uh, new ones a little bit bigger. So I'm going to try to I'm gonna loosen this up and just push it like a quarter inch or something like that inbound. 
These bars are actually a little bit narrow just kind of looking at them to me. I, I measured them once and I believe they're the same width as her Voom 3, which is a considerably smaller bike. So maybe I'll look at, um, what's holding this one on? Oh, there it is. Maybe I'll look at uh, getting slightly wider bars too eventually. All right, the script shift uses a very small Allen key. What is this? Three millimeter maybe? Well, that, that looks like that should be plenty. Let me try to line up that brake lever. That looks pretty good. Now we're a little bit longer, so let's just go with that. That is probably about a quarter inch. So I'll snug it up there. That ought to be good, I think. And the thing is, I can always cut off more if I want to, but I can't add any more on, of course. So each one of these ends are already cut tapered. Here's the plug, which should fit. I might get it. I have some others I might change because I don't think green really matches our theme here. But um, yeah, I think we'll, not sure if we should have this, I, I, maybe this will be the raw cut in so it meets up with this, yeah. So time to cut. <laughs> I'm going to try these general purpose cutters and I think I'll go ahead and just like cut it extra big and then trim it. I think that might be the easiest method. I've never actually, I don't know if I've ever done this before with grips. Usually just let them be whatever size they are. All right, that's pretty ugly, but that was, that was the thing I was going to try to get it, you know, more roughly correct and then Let's trim it in uh, more precisely here with more care. So just very carefully. I guess I'll more or less just kind of walk my. You know, this is this cut's really easy. I wonder if regular scissors might be better. Hang on. Believe it or not, I think these little kid scissors might be the best tool. Eh, maybe, maybe, maybe not. They don't. They don't really. They are cutting, but it's a bit difficult. Maybe it's good. Oh, hey, that looks pretty good, actually. Hey, that's not too bad looking, right? This cap isn't really the right color, but I'll just snap it on for, for now. Yeah, it's not bad. It's almost better than expected. Now let's go ahead and do the uh, big side. Now with the big side, these uh, these grips are also a little bit longer. I guess the thing is, is I would like the brake levers to be the same distance from the end of the the end of the bar. So let me go ahead and grab a. A ruler or something and try to do some measurements. Okay, almost coincidentally, because you saw me how I manually moved things, the brake lever edge is almost exactly five inches. It is pretty much exactly five inches the end of the bar, so we need to move this in uh, about a half an inch. But before I move it in, I'll go ahead and try to get this grip off. The Early Rider brand, I when I first got this bike a, know, a few weeks ago or whatever, I read about it and kind of learned about it and it's an English brand and I think it was just one of those stories where the the founder which is pretty new I want to say it was like 2005 the company I'll put it up on screen when the company was founded he just basically was looking for a better especially I think off-road like mountain bike for his son and he wasn't happy with what what was available so he just uh, created the the company and they seem like a really cool company. I, I like their uh, their style, you know, their website and the stuff I see on social media. So, you know, seems like a cool bike and a cool company. Now they're pretty expensive. I think this bike was like over $600 new, which to me is a lot of money. I mean, it's a nice bike. It's disc brakes, air shocks. Um, it's a nice bike, but it's just a lot of money for a kid's bike. Um, but if you can get one used like this, now this, I think I got an extra special deal because I see a lot of used ones even for like three, four hundred dollars easy. Um, but if you can get one used, that might, you know, make it a bit more palatable if you can pay three hundred bucks, get a nice condition used version. Come on, okay. These are Richie 
handlebars, which is pretty nice. They're using, you know, high quality parts on the bike. Tektro levers. I think Tektro calipers as well. Ah, we're pretty much dead on right there. Can you see that? Pretty much dead on right there. Okay, well with five inches, this is gonna pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much gonna be the whole thing, so I don't even gotta cut it. I use the same grip on my mountain bike and I really like it. Um, I'm not like a expert mountain biker, so I don't know if it's the best grip, but uh, works good for me. And it's very light, they weigh almost nothing. And uh, very comfortable. And it's only 10 bucks for the pair. Okay, there we go. After a couple minutes of pushing and twisting, got it on. Looks great. Wow, those look really good. I'm really happy with those. So let's go over what we did today. We did, not a lot. <laughs> One grip, second grip. Second one, of course, custom cut for the grip shifter. And we put an original factory new saddle. So, this is what the bike looks like. It's coming together pretty good. What else do we have to do? Well, we need to fix this brake cable situation. As you can see, that's no good. And I mean, it actually works perfectly fine, but definitely that's not right. We need to give the bike a bath. It's pretty dirty, as you can see. And I think that might be about it in terms of actually functioning and getting it going on the road. Other things we might want to do a little later might include a slightly wider bar. These are, I think, feel kind of narrow to me. They're about the same as their Voom 3, and this is a bigger bike. Um, if that ends up being too wide and too big, we could also shorten the stem a bit. This is, I don't know what it is, uh, looks like a 60 or 80, yeah, maybe 60 millimeter, I don't know. Um, the stem's a bit longer maybe than it would have to be if she goes with wider bars. These pedals hmm, don't look great to me. They're not a very large platform either. And the big thing is we may end up painting the whole frame. But that won't be until I get an actual garage. But that's about it. That's my introduction of my daughter's uh, early rider, uh, Belter 20. So that wraps up pretty much the video. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next one.